Hey guys. Welcome back to a vlog. Look who's here. Husband. <laughs> Yay. So we're in Livermore, Livermore wine country. You know we love it out here. We out here in Livermore wine country. Huh? We're gonna go taste it. We're gonna go taste. I was like, what are you talking about? Um, we're gonna taste. Um, so no, we're we're in Livermore because you guys know we are Wente members. And uh, today is their tasting release party. So they have, I think I've told you, no, maybe I haven't. I've told you guys on my Instagram stories, Jika. They have tasting release parties every time they have a shipment pickup. So you go and you pick up your shipment and they make you taste, or they don't, they don't make you. They make you taste. We're not forced. But yeah, they have quarterly tasting parties that are uh, really good. And then they also pair the food yeah. and uh, with, the, with the wines that they're giving you that uh, season. So it's really nice. You can hear some of the ruckus going on outside. <laughs> but, uh, We're trying to vlog here, people. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's a re really nice aspect of the membership. Yeah, and they have food trucks and they have delicious, delicious, very bad for you things on the food trucks. I think last time we got like nachos or something. I think it was... Irish nachos, so like tater tots. Yeah. It was yummy. Was it Irish nachos? I feel like there was Fritos involved. And anytime Ooh, there's Fritos, yeah. Ooh, yeah. anytime Frito, there's Fritos, Fritos involved. Nachos. That's what it was. Yeah, anytime there's Fritos involved, I'm very are you going somewhere? Take off your seatbelt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Safety first. Safety first. We just got here. I'm gonna show you guys my dress in a minute. You guys, I got this dress off of Amazon for, I, I was like, oh, it was like under 20 bucks because Marcus is like, oh, did you get a new dress? It's like, yeah, Amazon. So it's kind of like a cheapy dress, but if you guys are down with like the cheapy stuff, like I'm wearing a slip underneath it because it's pretty see-through, but you guys, this dress is hey, look cute. So I will show you my dress and then we will go in and I'll kind of carry you guys around a little bit. It'll probably be like some B-roll up in here because obviously it's super random like me just walking around a winery crowded full of people and taping, but you know. You know how we do. I get weird looks. Gotta show you guys the facts. I gotta show you guys the facts. You guys, you know I keep it real. Real, real. Okay, I'll show you guys my dress in a minute when we get out of the car. Okay, bye! Going in the back way. Small lot. Wine crub. Wine crub? <laughs> Release party. We are here. Okay, we are back from our tasting party and I wanted to show you guys what we got in our shipment in case you're curious. If you guys have never been to Wente Winery in Livermore, it's amazing. If you ever are in Northern California and you do wanna go wine tasting, but you don't wanna go to Napa for whatever reason, if you're napa out or if you're concerned with like if you feel like Napa snobby or whatever, or you just wanna go somewhere closer to Livermore, then check it out, it's awesome. Livermore has a bunch of wineries, like it's the low key Napa in my personal opinion. So I'm gonna show you what I got in my shipment. We are members, like I said, so what we do is we get a shipment every quarter, but I wanted to show you guys what we got in our shipment. So firstly, we got the Eric's Chardonnay. But so it's the Eric Chardonnay and it's got the tasting notes in here, so I'll read it to you. So Chardonnay, if you are not a wine drinker, Chardonnay is, they call it oaky, but for me, I feel like Chardonnay, it, the oakiness is equals, like equates to being buttery which I love. I love Chardonnay. With whites, as far as whites go, I prefer Chardonnay over Pinot and Sauv Blanc and all that stuff. So the tasting notes are Granny Smith Apple and Asian Pear Aromatics. This wine has a bright, lively acidity and a lingering finish, which makes this a beautiful expression of a stainless steel fermented Chardonnay. So the Eric Chardonnay, I think is really affordable. It's like mid twenties. It's very crisp. I feel like it's very crisp and very like fruity and I really like the Chardonnay. So that's, we got one of the Eric Chardonnay. And it says stainless steel, so it's less oaky, which means less buttery if you don't really care for the buttery. They have a Riva Ranch Chardonnay. Um, if you live in Northern California, 
the Riva Ranch Chardonnay, you can pick up even at Costco if you don't want to go to the actual winery itself. Um, and the Riva Ranch is buttery, which I definitely prefer. But the Eric Chardonnay is really good. I like it. It's very crisp. It's very refreshing. It's nice chilled. It's nice on a spring or summer day when it's nice and warm outside. Okay, so this is the Pinot Noir clones. This one is 100% Pinot Noir. Oh, the prices are on here. JK, JK. So the Eric Chardonnay for non-club members, the Eric's Chardonnay is $27, no, $30 for non-club members. So $30 retail. And then I feel like I got like a splinter or something in my thumb. I don't know why. Okay, so Pinot Noir Clones 2017. Retail for this is $50. And there is, wow, it even has the, the amount of barrels that were produced on here. I'm getting distracted. But the Eric Chardonnay says that there's been 1,750 barrels produced. This one in the Pinot Noir Clones is 28 barrels only produced, um, probably why it's $50 a bottle. This unique blend of Pinot Noir clones has complex aromatics from sassafras and spices like cracked pepper and clove to raspberry compote. This wine has soft tannins and a lingering acidity. I really liked this one. I'm getting to really love red. For me, whites are just crazy easy to drink. I'm not like a wine snob and I'm not like what you call a wine connoisseur. Um, I'm usually open to try pretty much anything, but I do prefer whites just in general because I feel like they're so easy to drink. Now, the last two bottles that came with our shipment are the same one, which I'm happy with. This is the GSM. This is the Artist Series. I think this is the one that you cannot buy unless you're a member. This is so good. And the, the Artist Series, they actually have a painting done by an artist. Like they have like a selected artist, like every quarter or whatever. And the painting is on the bottle, which is really cool. The GSM, it's so good, first of all. This is 44% Grenache, 40% Syrah, and 16% Mordeve. I love Syrah. Anytime I see, anytime I drink something and I'm like, ooh, I love this. I usually, if it's a red, I'll look in it, and if it's a white, if it's a red blend, usually there's Syrah in there, I love it. This one, 40 barrels produced only. Grenache brings a decadent dark fruit note, like dark cherry and strawberry. Syrah carries the wine's richness and weight, and more, I'm probably saying this wrong, more div, more verde, oh, more verde. Verde, more verde. I don't know. Told you I'm not a wine connoisseur. Mouvelde <laughs> introduces the black pepper and earth, earthy characteristics. So I'm really excited about this. And the artist is Joel Tesh. Anyways, that is our wine haul. Oh, I forgot. I picked this up in addition. This is a dessert wine. This is the orange muscat. Small, not, small lot orange muscat. This is a dessert wine. I personally have had the orange muscat before. It's really nice, it's not syrupy, it's just a really light, fruity note. And I have actually paired this with champagne. I'm not a champagne drinker, like I don't really like um, bubbly, but I will drink champagne if somebody's poured some orange muscat in there. So that's a tip, if you've never had the champs, with a little bit of muscat in there, it's really nice. So I'm gonna end the vlog there. Husband and I are going to wash up, get in our jammies, and we are going to watch Thor Ragnarok. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thanks for coming along with us. I will see you in the next vlog. Love you so much. Mwah. See you later. I don't know why I'm pointing, but see you later. See you later.